Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q3 of the weekly contest 314 using a robot to print the lexographical smallest string. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Um, this problem I thought was the hardest problem of the contest. So if you didn't get it, you know, don't feel so bad. But that said, it is also a greedy solution, meaning that if you did get it or if you had the idea, it may, st it may still be very hard just because, you know, like you have to prove it during the contest and there's just a lot of nuances um and and the, the way that um the way that i did it is like i said is greedy and how do you do greedy right well the, one of the thing, the first thing that i observe is that you know well look at this first but um this is almost like, you can think about t as a stack because um, as a stack because you're always removing from the end and then you're always adding stuff to the end, right? So you can think about T as a stack um, or these operations as a stack and then try to think about how to get it off in a good place. So that's observation one. Observation two is that um, you can do greedy in a way that um, you can do greedy in a way such that you can always, let's say, a is the minimize minimal um, string, right? Or minimal character that's inside the string. Well, you can always get all the A's in the beginning, right? And the reason is because, well, because you can just literally, you know, put it on the stack and every time you get an A, you put it in the output. And if you keep doing that, then you always get all the A's in the beginning. Um, and then the idea then is how do you handle the B's? Well, if you already have the, uh, an existing stack, um, you can't really pop stuff off to get to the B because then you have stuff that's before the B. So then there's no lexicographically smallest. However, to the right side of it, um, to the right side, you could almost think about it as a mini problem. And then you do the same thing, right? Because everything on the right side, you can get all the Bs, right? Um, let me try to visualize this a little bit better. Um, okay. So let's say, for example, um, you know, I'm just going to bang on the keyboard a little bit. Don't you know um here yeah something like this i don't know you can get all the a's out because like i said you put it on the stack for example your l a a is good let's put it on the answer w j da, 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 all the way up to here say and then you get the a again right and then dot 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 right all the way through okay this is a bad example because there's an a here okay so let, let's let's pretend that this is the end of it right and there's more characters say right? that's not a um, so then now let's say we, we killed, so all this stuff is in the stack minus the A's. I'm not going to take out the A's manually. Okay, maybe I will. Okay, I, I'm probably just missed some A's, but you get the idea. But then the idea here now is that after getting AAA or whatever it is, um, you know, there's B here. All right, did I draw? Let's say there's a B here and then there's B to the right side, right? And our pointer is here, right? Well, by the same logic that we use to get the A's, um, you can definitely get all the B's to the right side as well, right? So then let's do that. So then we get B, 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 and then B, right? Um, and of course, on the stack, there's T, R, T, E, and then the R, W is the stuff that's remaining, right? Um, and then now, to the right side, you go, okay, is there a C? No. Because if there's even if there's a C on the left side, it doesn't matter, right? Because you have to unblock all the stuff. Um, so that means that C cannot be the next character, right? And then the next question is, can D be the character? Can Y be the character? And then actually the answer is yes, just that it's not from the right side. We could get it from the left side. So then we go Y, right? And so forth all the way through. The other only tricky thing is that, let's say we have, um, let's say a lot of C's here and a Y, right? Well, Let's say we pop off this Y, okay, we pop off this Y, and then now we go, okay, actually, what is the smallest thing that we can get? Well, now it's no longer a Y, but a C. So then let's keep on doing it, and then we keep on popping. And this could be, a, you know, it could be some combination of this as well, because this is the best that we can do, because, because we know that to the right, um, there's no Y's, right? Because, or not, or there's no stuff that's Y or above, or, be, uh, you know, there's stuff that's before Y. Right? Because if there is, then we would have already gotten it. So there's, that's the invariant that we're working with. And anyway, so with that strategy, that's how you get the best answer. I had a, t I, I um, struggled with one of the things, but I had a lot of typos while coding this, so I was just not very, um, very precise in my implementation. 
because I actually did not spend that much time on it per se, but yeah, implementation was sloppy. You could watch me self, you know, you could watch me attempt this live during that, but um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, yeah, so you can, that's pretty much it. Um, and I'm going to go over the implementation line by line and um, yeah, so basically here, I just, you might not need to implement it this way, but this is the way that I implemented during the contest. I, I'm not super happy about it, to be honest. So. Well, I mean, I think now I'm pretty okay, but there's some things that I could have maybe done a little bit cleaner. But, but uh, yeah, the way that I did is I keep track of the last item, and then here we just literally go from um, go from A to Z. We go A. Okay, is there A? Is there anything on the stack that you know, or, or on the top of the stack that we can pop that's before A? And then we go. Okay, no. Then here we just probably the stack up to the last A and then dot 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 and then we update the current thing um, because that's what we processed and then next we go okay is there any B's etc and so forth that's basically what this logic is doing and then at the very end of this stuff on the stack well we have to put it on the end that's pretty much it um, so yeah Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. So linear time, linear space. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you could watch me sub a live during a contest now. Okay, I really must did not understand that how to read that poem, right? That was so... I, I probably could have just written it out, but okay, focus. We'll, we'll do the explanation later. Lexicon, okay. Remove the first character and give them... Do, 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 do. Last character, T. <clears throat> until they're both empty. Okay. Oh, where's my pencil? Okay, so, I mean, this is a pen, but that's fine because I don't, can't find my pencil. I don't kind of a pencil. You should have prepared, but I think I just lost it. Okay, whatever. All right. All right this is a pencil, I think. <laughs> Very nice pencil, actually. Okay, so you start with ZZA. And then you can either give the first character and then give it to Z. Or give it to T. And then the last character and give it to the robot. Okay. So what does that mean? Okay, so let's say we have someone like this. Then we can give the first to T. Give the first to T and then A and then A, Z, Z. Okay. So what does that mean? That means, okay, let's try again with this one. Okay. What does this mean? That means that I go B on the T, D, D, A, and then we want to put the A and then we D, D, and then B, right? So that's the only thing. How, what, what do we want from this? We basically, let's say that, well, I guess the question is, is there two A's, right? Are there two A's? Let's say that they have something like this. What do we do, right? Well, we we will put for T, we go <coughs> B, D, A, then we get rid of the A, and then D, A, and then we get rid of D, 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 B, right? Okay. Can we do this for all the A's? And then, and then what happens? Right. I think there's like some weird type breaking things as well, but let's say there's another A. Let's say there's a... Hmm. Don't know how to do this. This is funky. So then now we go B, D, A, we get rid of A, A, we get rid of A, we get a B, and then we get rid of A and B, but then that... What is the forcing function that I can do? For sure we want to get all the A's, but then... And then now we have the rest. What do we do with the rest? K. 
Can we optimize the rest? No, because we always want the smallest characters first. And then we want all of it. And then once we get all of it, is there a better, like, can you change the order of the other stuff? Well, let's say A is not the last character, right? So you have A, A, B, 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 C, 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 C. Well, in this case, obviously you could do just A, A, B, 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 C, C. So then we, <coughs> so I think we just greedily, people have finished. Wow, that is actually amazing. Uh, 440 seconds. Yeah, I mean, I took a very long time on that one. Um, so I do the last A. And then I do the last B, and then I do the last C, kind of like that, I think. Okay. So yeah, so let's let's do that first. Um, something like that, and then five, six. Um, S sub I minus O D A. Um, last, something like this, right? Mm, oops. Hmm? How is that right? Or how is that wrong? Oh, this is our, our 26, whoops, this should be N. But, um, now what does that mean? But also, if we do something like, like, do, 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 and then the last A is here, and then you have a lot of do, 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 and then B, then here, we actually want to get rid of all the Bs as well. So we have to go all the way back to the last, the first B, to get all the A's and all the Bs, and then we kind of keep going. Is that true? We take all the Bs from the right side first because those are the things that we can keep adding. And then do you just, what do you do for the left side? The left side, I guess there's no, unless the top of the stack is the next character, there's nothing you can do, right? How do people get it so quickly? Wow, I'm actually very impressed. Uh... <coughs> Okay, so greedily take right, and then if it's on top of the stack is the next character, then that's good. Otherwise, that's not good, right? So okay, so yeah, so first of da -da 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 -da. Um, okay, so then maybe we do something like a stack. Uh, okay, basically what we want to do is <sighs> okay now what do we do right we greedily keep going until the last one right so for i in range from Uh, let's see, right, so yeah, let's just say f is equal to 0, or f is equal to n, or f, this is last of c, right, actually, right, but the beginning is going to be current is equal to 0, say, and then we do something like, um, okay, if s sub i is equal to, okay, This is char C actually. Okay, but as a bias you go to char C, then then what do we do? Well, then we put in the answer really. Append as a by, right? Else we put it on the stack. 
Okay, and then I think that's it. And then on the last one, then we just, you know, current is equal to last of C, and then can return the answer kind of, this is not done obviously, but yeah. And in the beginning we go, um, while length of stack is greater than zero and char C is equal to, to um, stack of negative one, then stack dot pop, answer dot append char C. I think that's the one that I was thinking about. And then also at the very end, at the very end, I just do it again. Well, length of stack is greater than zero. Stack that prop. How confident am I? Not at all, especially not for these cases. Uh, and also, especially not when your answers are like this. But I have to join it first. Hmm. That is clunky. Our current is your last C. That's a little bit weird. Didn't even have an A. Hmm. Okay, let's print. And Z. Okay. Why is there no A? Is last C correct? Uh, neighbors having party. All right, so zero to two. Oh, it, it's not inclusive. That's why. Whoops. Okay. Hopefully this is right. Um, and then now this shouldn't be last minus one. It should be just uh, maybe negative one. Okay, what am I returning? I'm returning way too much. That's fine, maybe. After it answers A, that's fine. B, D, 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 Z. Uh, Z, Z, A. But current should already be. Oh, this is this plus one, maybe. Because we already processed it. Still the wrong answer. Why do I have to do it twice? Okay, so we put no. Yeah, we put the ends. Oh, it's before the stack. So that means that something is weird is happening. Oh, because we pop it, but then the current is still doing it. Hmm. Oh my god, my neighbors are really loud right now. Or just they're just in the hallway. That's not even loud, but. Okay, so answer and the stack, but then what's what's current? Current should be Oh, I have a current is equal to zero here, that's why. Okay, I'm dumb. Huh. Okay, A Z uh, still wrong. That's sad, actually. We just never update current. Oh, I see, because uh, this thing only happens if, uh, yeah. Okay, so what I actually want... Mm. <clears throat> okay, so this is better. Is it the answer? Well, hmm. No, because there's a Z here, even though there's no Z here at all. Is it because I print out, yeah, what I want is stack minus one. Okay, now I think I could at least get rid of these for a second. Okay, this looks right, I think. Um, I do want to try something like this. I don't know if I know the right answer to it, though. I suspect it should be a lot of A's and then a couple of B's. Even though, let me add another B in the front. It should that B should order be ordering the end. Okay, so that looks good. Let's give it a quick submit. I'm not confident about this one at all, to be honest. Yeah, and this shows way close but not quite. 
<sighs> wow, this is a tough contest. Okay, what am I doing wrong? So we do F, but then the O is A, B, C, D, E, F, N. So we got rid of the N. And then O. Oh, because H is earlier. Oh, huh. So we pop off the stack. Um, okay, so this is the case. Then we keep popping, I guess. Mm, that's not quite right, but if char c is greater than stack minus one, then we pop it. That makes sense. So why is that wrong? I don't even have three L's. Oh, 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 because I'm popping. Okay, okay, because I'm. Okay. That was one of the cases that I was worried about as well. Okay, do I have any? Okay, let's just give it a submit. Yes, that was a hard one. That was the one that I was worried about. Um, apparently, hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think and how did you do this contest. Uh, that's all I have. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.